So you've probably heard all the talk about AGI and AGI and AI. Well, first, let's define what that means. Well, hang on, that's actually difficult. You may say, well, Jonathan, what are you talking about? Well, part of the problem we have with AGI is it's being talked about from Sam Altman from OpenAI and many others in the industry is defining what AGI really means. You see, there is no standard definition and that's causing some problems as people like Sam Altman start predicting that we're gonna achieve AGI in 2025. Will we? Maybe, uh, I don't think so as I define AGI, but maybe as they define AGI, it's possible. In fact, I think it's probably likely that what we're going to see in 2025 is that um, we're going to get an announcement at some point that we've already hit AGI, most likely coming from ChatGPT and the folks over at OpenAI, but possibly from another camp. And the difficulty is going to not be in this massive announcement that here it is, but more in we've already been there and you didn't realize it. You see, the real problem is we don't have a standardized, unified description for what accomplishing AGI or reaching AGI really means. And while that may be great from a marketing perspective, it's also probably really frustrating from a user's perspective. Why this quick monologue about AGI and the differences and the problems with definitions? It's not because we need one or anything like that, but it is to keep and give you some perspective as all of the people are out there talking about AGI. Keep in mind, they're probably all talking about something a bit different. And in most cases, we haven't yet defined what AGI really means and therefore get ready for proclamations that AGI is here when in reality, at least from what most of us consider AGI to be, it's probably not going to happen in 2025, may not even happen in 26 or 27 or longer. By the way, if you've been paying attention, uh, the general scorecard says that uh, OpenAI, the makers behind ChatGPT, they're predicting we achieve AGI sometime in 2025. Anthropic, the people behind Claude, they're predicting 26 or 27, in other words, one to two years later. Given OpenAI's penchant for announcing things that, that they then don't deliver, uh, by the way, do you guys remember Sora, that amazing video tool that they announced early in 2024? TikTok, TikTok, we still don't have it. Do you remember the, the huge delay that we had from OpenAI after they announced its their astounding new voice features and then made us wait? about 90 days before they even showed it to us and delivered it to us. So am I trusting that OpenAI is right and that we're gonna achieve AGI in 2025? Uh, no, not at all. Do I believe that they may believe it? Yeah, I think this is probably more about marketing and fundraising, candidly. Keep in mind, these companies are looking to raise billions, that's billions, not millions, but billions with a B dollars to help support their spending. And these AI companies, understandably, because it's a Wild West environment, are spending money like a group of drunken sailors in port for the first time in years. And they need money. That means that we're going to see announcements that are going to be probably more targeted at investors designed to get them to release their hard-earned funds and invest in these platforms than it is even for us. So AGI, I believe, is going to be one of those topics. Let's bring it all full circle. Jonathan, why are we having this discussion? Well, I believe that we're going to hear a lot more about AGI in 2025. I don't think we're going to hit it by most people's definitions, but be prepared for companies, especially companies like OpenAI, to change that definition and, and claim that we've achieved AGI. And the purpose isn't so much that they believe it, but it's to get money. So take everything with a grain of salt, you hear folks. AI is advancing at an incredibly rapid pace, and it's an amazing adventure. One I encourage you to participate in, because AI really is an amazing tool that helps you amplify your skill and experience. But take all of the predictions with a large grain of salt. And don't worry, it doesn't matter whether we hit AGI in 2025 or in 2030. What matters is that you're leveraging the tools to amplify your skill and experience and make you give you, I should say, the ability to save time, to deliver more value to your audiences, and candidly, to live a better life. I'd love your perspectives. Tell me down in the comments what you think about AGI and all the hype and everything else. And if you're bold enough, make a prediction. I'll admit, I'm not because I don't think we can define what AGI is quite yet. Make it a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.